So we did happy bear, sad bear, nervous bear, silly bear and love bear yeah. because we all need a bit of love in our life as well. So we did five and that was the first five that came. And then COVID hit and the bears just went, they were in so much high demand, weren't they? Like crazy. And I think it's because people were shut away behind those four walls. They weren't seeing family members. They weren't seeing the grandchildren, the children. And it was hard for people and children. You know, children were taken away from that social life that they need of mixing with other children and learning to becoming just with the parents 24 seven and not seeing the friends. And so people were ordering bears. I mean, the orders were crazy, yeah, weren't they? Crazy. Madness. So we decided to make another one, didn't we, during COVID? I'm sure everyone can remember the rainbows that people were painting in the windows. People were out walking and the rainbows just made people smile. So we made Hope Bear and just basically say, there's always a rainbow after every storm. So no matter how tough it is in parts of your life, at the end of that storm, there's normally a rainbow just to help you feel better again. So Hope Bear today is still the bestseller. And then during that time as well, it was a friend of mine actually who said, these bears are so lovely, I really think you should go on Dragon's Den. So we sat during COVID working and she actually filled in the application form and just sent it and I never really thought nothing more of it. And then we went on a holiday, didn't we? <laughs> to Dubai, just as COVID started to lift again and we could travel. And while we were in Dubai, I had an email to say, this is the BBC, we've been trying to contact you regarding your teddy bear business and we'd like to see you on Dragon's Den. So I had the phone call a couple of days later when I we were back in the UK and um, it was like a whirlwind, wasn't it? It was crazy. <laughs> all the paperwork we had to fill in, all the interviews we had to have. And then we filmed, when did we film? 2022. So we filmed in the May 2022. Yeah. Um, I couldn't tell anybody. Couldn't tell a soul that we were filming, <laughs> what we were Nothing. doing. You get to, you have to sign. Um, forms, don't you, to say that you'll keep quiet and you won't tell anybody. And then it was aired? April, April last year, yeah. 2023. So we had to wait a whole year. Obviously we knew the outcome. Nobody else knew the outcome. Nope. Nobody knew anything. <laughs> so we had a whole 12 months of keeping quiet about it. And it's been absolutely hectic ever since then.